More fallout tonight after an Alberta MP called the Prime Minister a dictator. It comes in the wake of the Emergencies Act being enacted in Ottawa last month. Some say her accusation goes too far and it will create more division. Tyson Fedor reports. In Ottawa, we saw the use of the Emergencies Act to call in police horses to crush peaceful demonstrators, uh, protesters under the jackboot of the Prime Minister's basic dictatorship. Those comments Monday, followed by Lethbridge MP Rachel Thomas doubling down and reading the dictionary definition of the word dictator. There are many Canadians that would believe, that would hold the view that this does apply to Mr. Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada. It's prompted some to criticize the Alberta MP who would not provide any data to CTV Wednesday to support her controversial statement. Michelle Rempel Garner says there are lots of reasons to criticize Trudeau, but she urges her conservative colleagues to carefully choose their words. There are many people in Canada who have fled countries, I think, you know, Venezuela comes to mind, where um, you, you have a, a dictator like Maduro. However, one political expert believes Thomas's remarks go a little too far. If she was taking a course with me, I would have to give her an F uh, for the course. Uh, if you don't like something, uh, you just simply stick a label on it. We've kind of lost the capacity to have an intelligent debate. And for Premier Jason Kenney, he says opposition MPs called the majority Stephen Harper government. He sat under an elected dictatorship too. He admits, though, Trudeau does not fit the bill. I disagree with Justin Trudeau on the vast majority of issues, but for all of that, I, I think it would, it's unhelpful and corrosive uh, to suggest that, that he operates like, let's say, uh, the president of China or the president of Russia. Tyson Fedor, CTV News, Calgary. The Prime Minister's office did not respond to the comments, but his parliamentary secretary says the remarks are a disservice to Canadians and those in Ukraine being invaded by an actual dictator, Russian President Vladimir Putin.